Today I dug a pit deep within the earth. More than a meter deep, I guess, about 1.2 meters deep. Perhaps, I don't know, about 0.7 meters wide and about uh, 0.8 meters uh, long. Into which will go a water deposit. And when I was finished that and got a nice refreshing shower, what do I find in YouTube but a message that has told me that explaining what the mammalian inner ear fossils show is not evidence for evolution? I agree! Explaining how the mammalian inner ear evolved is not evidence. The fossils showing that evolution is evidence. Nobody said my explanation of how the mammalian inner ear evolved is evidence for evolution. It is not. I will note, and I will show an image now, here is an image of a leg. You've got the femur, knee joint, fibula, tibula, and down below you can see the knee joint itself in better relief with the ankle bones down below there. You are asking yourself, to what species of land animal does this leg belong to? The answer to that question is a snake. That's right, a snake. It is known that snakes once had legs. We know this because extant snakes have bones, uh, pelvis bones and other bones to support the use of legs. They evolved until they no longer required legs. Creationists such as Kent Hoven insist the pelvis bones in snakes were never used for walking, they were used for fucking. And I'm serious. That is their explanation for the pelvis bones in snakes. However, every now and then snakes are born extant with legs. The image of the fossil that I just showed is, uh, if I remember correctly, about 85 million years old, and it shows actually a snake with two legs. Evolution explains why snakes once had legs and no longer do, except every now and then. Um, in extant snakes, it is called atavism. In extinct snakes back uh, tens of millions of years ago, it is called uh, atrophine of features that are no longer required. Snakes no longer needed legs, therefore they diminished and diminished until they no longer had legs. The same is true for uh, mammals in the ocean, whales and dolphins and stuff like that. They once had legs. They still generally have pelvis bones and the creationist explanation for those pelvis bones are, you're correct, fucking! No! They used to walk on land. Yet another intermediate fossil has been discovered showing the transition between reptile to uh, amphibian to snake, and there are a hell of a lot of other intermediate uh, fossils known. Yet more evidence for the fact that evolution occurred and is still occurring. Creationists, please explain to us why snakes way back when, tens of millions of years ago, had legs. Thank you. Handsome Stranger is such a wonderful nickname. Well, how did you get it? Oh, it's not a nickname, it's my real name. Really? Yeah, I was named after my father. He must have been quite a man. I don't know. I never met him. <laughs>